What's going on everybody? Josh Pocock here and in today's video we're going to be looking at a free open source alternative to Perplexity AI. If you're familiar with Perplexity AI, it is an AI tool that you can use and it's essentially a wrapper um, that leverages OpenAI, Anthropic, other different models to do um, advanced searching of the web. And it's very useful, but one, it's not open source. Two, it's about 20 to 30 bucks a month. So we're going to show you how you can locally set this up and use it for any model from Grok, OpenAI, Anthropic, Olama, any open source model you want. We're going to show you how to set this up. Let's dive right into it. All right, guys, so the tool that we're going to be using that is an alternative to Perplexity is called Perplexica, and it's an AI-powered search engine. And just like the name Perplexica, Perplexity, it's essentially somewhat of a clone. It's not a full clone, obviously, of Perplexity, but you'll see the UI in just a second, and it is very, very similar, right? That's my first thoughts when I saw this. I mean, you, you get it when you hear the name. It kind of makes sense. But um, first off, before, like, I'll, I'll go through I'll, all the links that I'm going to mention here are in the description down below. But um, you can read up. I'm not going to go through their whole GitHub here, but it really just kind of dives into what the features are. And if you're using Perplexity now, which personally I am, I'm still paying for it. I've been paying for it. Um, you'll, you're probably familiar with a lot of these features that I'm going to show you because it's literally just they're trying to clone Perplexity here. But uh, we got co-pilot mode, which is in development, normal mode. Um, so boost search by generating different queries to find more search relevant internet sources like normal search instead of just using the context by search, uh, search, uh, search and G. So that's like an open source searching uh, tool, kind of like an alternative to Google. And we'll get into that in just a second, how the architecture of this tool, Perplexica, is built. But uh, then there's normal mode, focus mode, all, all mode, uh, writing assistant mode, uh, academic mode, so searching like through academic papers, YouTube search mode, Wolfram alpha search mode, Reddit search mode. So it's very similar to perplexity. Like here's perplexity. We got focus mode. We got uh, pro mode, aka copilot mode. And here we can search like math, academic, social, video. This is YouTube. Math is Wolfram. Um, I believe academic is like all the archive uh, papers and whatnot. And so it's, it's exactly, you know, really what it, they're trying to just clone it. Um, so anyways, the installation, we'll get into the installation in just one second. I just want to go over here to the architecture just to quickly go over what this tool is actually built on because it's a, it's first off, it's, it's still fairly new. Um, they're, they're developing it. So there may be some bugs here and there, but um, I mean, it's been out for, I guess, like, it's been on, I guess, for a long time in AI years, which is, I mean, obviously AI has been around for a while, but in just terms of like the new boom of AI and how quickly things develop, like there's new developments every single week. So it's sort of uh, expedited in terms of like time goes by a lot quicker. Um, so yeah, it's been around for, I don't know exactly when it came around, but it's been out for at least this year, um, a few months ago, um, maybe even more. And anyways, so Here's the architecture it consists of a few following components, user interface of the UI, a web-based interface that allows users to interact with Perplexica for searching images, videos, and much more. It's built on Next.js, um, so that's good. Uh, agents, chains, these components predict Perplexica's next actions, understand user queries, and decide whether web search is necessary. And then Sir X, uh, Sirx, uh, I don't even know, Sir, uh, Sir X and G, uh, a metadata search engine used by Perplexica to search the web for sources and then LLMs, large language models. So these are all the la la large language models like Claude, GPTs, uh, ChatGPT, OpenAI, uh, as well as you can connect your custom own ones uh, and local ones. We'll, we'll show you that in a second. And then embedding models. So to improve accuracy of search results, Embedding models re-rank the result using similarity, search algorithms such as cosine, similarity, and dot, product, distance, and then you can read more details there. Anyways, that's a bit, bit uh, background on the architecture. Before we get into install, you're going to need Docker installed on your system, so go to docker.com and download this if you don't 
have it already and if you don't have docker it's a great tool there's also a very easy way to deploy it if you're running into issues and you you can't troubleshoot it and whatnot um, i'm going to explain everything in this video um what at least what i believe you could fit, potentially face into issues i'm going to cover that so you can get the install right the first time hopefully but um they link to a tool called repocloud.io where you can just deploy it in a click and uh yeah so if you're having issues you can check that out it's in the um github right here okay so basically what you're gonna do it's very simple so um the do i'm gonna cover the docker install you can also install it with npm i'm not gonna cover that but um yeah you're, we're gonna install it with docker so it's very uh simple it's actually a lot easier to do it with docker so we're just gonna run is git clone github command so you're going to run this in wherever you want this repo to be so let's just go to our handy dandy terminal right here and i've actually already run these commands but i'm just going to walk you through them so once you run that git clone command you're going to go into that folder so here's my perplexica right here, perplexica right here and you'll see after cloning it navigate to the directory containing the project files rename sample.config.toml to file.config.toml for docker setup you need to fill uh, only fill in the following fields and then so yeah you can see my config is just named config it's a toml file but you, you're just going to want to remove sample all right from that point on you could go into uh the config right here i'm not going to open it because it has like all my api keys and whatnot but you could add your API keys like your OpenAI, uh, Grok, Anthropic, etc. But you actually can just change that in the settings too once you Docker compose up. Now, one thing that I, I faced an issue, which was once I Docker compose up, uh, then I loaded it. It wouldn't, it was like a continuous loading. So the reason being is because it doesn't mention it just right here. So it's kind of like a thing that um that I had to figure out. Or well, they actually have um this wait where is it this section right here explaining it so it's actually in the it's just a bit hidden um in the documentation so you have to go i'm gonna leave the link to this as well though to, to explain what it is but if you're basically if you already docker composed up then you can just docker compose down and uh dash rmi all to remove the existing per uh, perplexity perplexica containers and images but um you're gonna want to open the docker compose right here okay and the docker compose yaml file and basically all you're gonna have to do is in the section right here you can see where it says replace ip of 127.0.0.1 with the ip address of the server perplexa perplexica is running on in these two lines so this is like what it looks like before you replace that and you can see i replaced it with um local host right so i'm just using my local host and you can see here this is the new um next public api as well as next public uh public ws url which is local host port 3001 we have yeah the docker compose uh dot yaml you can check that out and if you need to make any other uh, changes configurations with a port or anything if those ports are taken you could do that but other than that once you're done that you're going to save the docker compose yaml and then you're just going to rebuild and restart perplexa uh, containers so docker compose up dash d double dash build all right so i would just run this command so really like you don't have to uninstall the containers well I don't know if this is something that uh i don't know because i i believe some people weren't experiencing this but you know you may have to uh you, this is something you may have to do um if you do this then you won't experience the issue that i was facing so uh you could just try in doing it right from the start com docker compose up uh dash d and see if you get the issue if you do then you can remove this and then just change this or you could just do this from the start and you should be good to go okay there's also a bit of a different situation for mac and linux so they cover that down there but like i said this is going to be linked down below as well as all the other links i've talked about um which is just the other github and whatnot so also too guys you're going to need to install well if you're going to want to run local models you're going to need to install olama if you haven't already and uh, once you install olama 
you can pretty much uh download whatever obviously whatever local model you want to run so whether it's quen 2 deep sea coder uh llama 3.1 the new meta model so unless you have like a crazy machine you're going to pretty much probably only going to be use able to use the 8b model um so you just do olama run llama 3.1 once you actually install olama okay and then i'm still going to show you how to, you can can run the 70b model and the 405b model as well in just a moment but one thing too just because um the perplexica uses an embedding uh embedding as well uh one thing you're one command you're going to want to run you're going to want to run olama pull nomic dash embed dash text okay that's gonna be useful if you're when you're using perplexica and you're using your olama and you still want to have olama embedding um we're gonna show you that in just a second okay so once you actually get the install going if like i said if you did are experiencing issues or you just do this from the start use um the whole uh exposing perplexa to a network make sure it's your ip okay then you're gonna have it loaded up like this okay so as you can see uh this compared to perplexity it's not like a hundred like this says where knowledge bin begins a uh, perplexica says research begins here so it's like complete uh replica um it's not like to be quite honest like it's probably not as nice user interface um some maybe you like it better i don't know like it is i do like the black i just kind of like some of this um but some I don't know. Just let me know what you think compared. What do you like better for the UI? Do you like Perplexica or Perplexity? Let me know in the comments down below. But you'll see it's very similar. We got like our history here. We got search here. Or so library. We got uh, search. Um, now we also have settings here. So we'll get into that in just a second. And then like I was saying before, we have Copilot. And we also have all academic writing, Wolfram Alpha, youtube and reddit so we have all those search options and i'm going to show you a comparison because i have perplexity pro i've been paying 20 bucks a month for it for the last i don't know few months just because i don't know i just i'm paying for a bunch of ai tools right some people you know whatever so i i have been using it and i do still use it a lot but um i'm going to be trying out perplexed a little bit more and kind of seeing over the course what i prefer for results like what i think what i think i could um yeah like if there's certain situations when one is stronger or whatever the case might be but anyway so um what you're going to do is you're going to go into your settings here okay and i'm going to show you how you can set perplexa up with perplexica up with pretty much any model you want so um if you uh basically so here you'll see like olama grok api key anthropic and these are like ap one these are api keys i'm just using for the video and they're cut off anyways so and i'm going to just for safety whatever i'm going to delete them after but um these are the yeah so you can put your api key here so like open ai api key olama uh so the olama api url is um host.docker.internal and then colon 11434 so that probably already will be there um but yeah if you need to put that there you can put that there um i've seen some people say that depending on like the system and this and that some people's are is local host uh like this local host so if it's not working for you try that but it sh most people will probably be this and yeah so you can put your api keys here anytime you change something you can just press this to refresh you have your embedding models here so like as you can see i selected olama and the gnomic embed text is right here um for the embed model um and then of course we have dark and light theme obviously we're going to be using dark theme because we're not psycho i'm joking but um anyways so chat model provider so you could select open ai for example and then over here you could select like turbo gpt 3.5 turbo gpt4 gpt4 turbo omni omni mini you have those options um and then you could select open ai embedding and do like whatever embedding or you could obviously select grok okay with grok you have a bunch of options like you could do llama 3.18b and you're going to get way faster inference time or you could do 70b right grok currently doesn't have the oral b um 405b right so um yeah but you do also have mistral gemma etc so there's grok and 
then there's obviously anthropic so claude sonnet 3.5 sonnet uh really good for coding etc um and then olama so with the um oh no sorry so olama if you do olama yeah as long as you just put that url here then you should be good but the one i'm going to show you to get the 405b model i've covered this in other videos like when i showed i did a video showing you guys how to get 405b within continue.dev on your vs code so if you want to check that out too if you're like want to use that for coding check out one of uh, you can just search continue.dev llama 3.5 or 3.1 on my channel you'll find it basically we're going to be using together.ai to do this so you can just sign up for together.ai i'll leave a link down below and essentially once you do that you're just going to go um log in and you're going to want to go to your api keys and you're going to, like your settings api key same as you grab any other api key you're going to want to grab that api key and then you're going to want to come over to custom open ai all right and then you're going to want to paste in i'll leave this down below too so you're going to paste in the model number or the model name which is this okay meta dash llama dash meta or four slash meta llama 3.18 the um instruct turbo and then you're also going to want to use this custom open ai base url as so api dot together dot x y z forward slash v1 and then your custom open ai aka together dot ai uh api key and then you just update it right so all right guys so we're going to do a couple searches now just to test it out so i'm going to use gpt40 omni all right with the text embedding and everything and then i'm going to use gpt4 omni in perplexica as well as perplex perplexity all right so as you can see i just searched latest ai news and we'll go over this real quick um we can see here we got some here are some of the latest ai developments and news in the field of artificial intelligence comprehensive coverage of ai several platforms including cna okay i'm not going to read through the whole thing but you can kind of see here industry research and trends uh, daily updates websites are dedicated machine learning advancements in various fields ai and robotics computer vision global ai news so yeah that's the results there and we can see like the sources here you can also search images and search videos just like how you can in perplexity so very useful um very like you can even see it gives you related questions you could rewrite copy text-to-speech expand upon it whatever let's do the same search in perplexity so we're going to do here now one thing like perplexity's pro search um okay so like ai and, act and scientific research um government actions of ai corporate so giving like somewhat similar type of response i mean it's a little bit different um i haven't gone through each of them in depth so i can't fully say which one's better uh perplexity definitely still does have a bit more features and whatnot like i would assume it's a little bit better quality i mean i would assume at least right maybe even more but um it's definitely uh perplexity definitely has a lot of potential i'm excited about it and it's an extremely useful tool and it's 100 free open source so you really have no harm using it especially if you're using it with local models a llama like it's definitely uh, can be very powerful also too if you don't want to pay for perplexity i mean perplexity luck like they do have a free plan at the end of the day so the free plan actually isn't that bad but um you can't use it with higher quality models the the one thing about perplexity is i do still like like if you use their pro search and you ask it like a complex question with like multiple different steps it will do multiple queries on it and it's pretty good at that so i, I mean yeah I, i'm still gonna use both at the end of the day but um this is definitely if i wasn't gonna pay for perplexity 100 percent, then i would just use this right and I, i'm still gonna use both because i think this perplexica it perplexica is a really good tool but other than that guys if you're new to the channel uh, we upload videos every single day on AI automation, AI news, marketing, sales, things to grow your business with AI. AI is exploding and just like every new week, there's something new every new day, almost it's getting crazy. So um, if you want to stay up to date with that, like this is, I'm dedicating my whole 
business life too um you know really trying to master this stuff so i want to keep you guys informed with everything that i'm learning on a day-to-day -day basis because i'm always learning new things so i'm going to be put posting these videos for you guys so if you got some value here make sure to subscribe to stay a part of the journey and also too guys if you're new to the channel you haven't already joined our free community we have stridecommunity.com going to be doing more free resources in there etc behind the scenes stuff but if you want to join there we have about 750 to 800 members uh, maybe even more now in our free facebook group and discord channel combined so you can join there 100 percent free link in the description down below you can network with myself as well as other like-minded ai enthusiasts entrepreneurs developers uh, marketers business people uh, sales people whatever the case may be also too guys if you haven't already checked out my book client acquisition code i have a full chapter in here on prompt engineering and this book is extremely valuable if you need uh, clients for your business it gives you the ins and outs of everything from e cold email uh running paid traffic paid media facebook ads youtube ads etc uh, definitely check that out if you're a business owner or if you're a marketer or whatever the case may be salesperson even um a lot of cool gems in there other than that guys i will see you in tomorrow's video let me know what your thoughts are in the uh, comments down below about Perplexica, about perplexity. And uh, anyways, guys, keep hustling, keep grinding. And of course, guys, accelerate your stride. Take care.